Yeah, fam. So it's the first of December. It's um, it's officially Vlogmas. So um, yeah, let's just start our day. <laughs> Welcome in my toilet. So first of all, I'm going to flip my calendar to December. So November said cold, cozy nights, warm blankets, and hot chocolate. And then this one says start the day with a smile and finish it with champagne. <laughs> That's cute. And as you can see, Stefan, his birthday is tomorrow and also my parents are um, celebrating their anniversary, like their uh, marriage anniversary at the 20th. I don't think my parents do celebrate it, but um, yeah, it's just a day to remember. Seriously. Yuki. <laughs> he almost fell in, oh my god. If you're wondering, by the way, why the why the thingy is up, like the, the seat, I have explained that in an earlier video. At the time, I struggle with uh, going to the toilet, so it's up. So I have some more space to uh, wipe myself and to clean myself. But things are getting better, I will talk about that. I really need to clean my living room. This is a mess. As you can see, oh my god. I did some laundry the other day and I really have to fold stuff and I also have to clean all that sh stuff. <laughs> I wanted to say shit, I have to clean all that shit. And then right here we have my Christmas tree but I still have to saw off a little bit of the bottom to keep it like good as long as possible. My parents are going to come over for just like 10 minutes or so and I ask them like can you bring your saw? After that I'm going to just unpack him and uh, put him in the holder and uh, yeah we'll see after that. I'm not going to decorate today. Uh, I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. That's what I look like with my camera and my holder. <laughs> Hi Lemfem. So this is not the prettiest view, I know, but oh my god, I really have to wash my face. Ugh. I'm going to make some breakfast, I'm going to do some editing. After editing, I'm going to take uh, a shower, see if we're going to go for a walk today. It's a little bit, I don't know, it's not the greatest weather, but I do want to go for a walk. Lunch, of course, I, I really need to still stay on track and eat at least three times a day. Um, but yeah, just before getting overwhelmed, let's start with making some breakfast. That's yeah, let's just follow the list that I made yesterday. <laughs> also, we had a power outage yesterday and I was like, I only had one or two percent left on my battery for my phone. And I was like, oh my God, no, 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 no. I want to, I want to charge it. And I don't know, like every time my power goes out, I, I remember like, oh my God, we're nothing without our technology. Or at least I'm, I'm nothing with my technology. So yeah, but let's make some breakfast. Yeah. How are you drumstick? Are you feeling good? <laughs> with your drumstick leg. Someone said I had to kiss it, so I did... Ew! Are you serious? Yeah? Do you like that? <laughs> Someone said, like, kiss little drumstick for me, so I did yesterday. It's so weird, kissing the drumstick. It feels so weird. How are you? Do you want to say something to the, to the people? Aw, that's cute. Oh, 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 oh. Breakfast? Let's mix it up. Bon appétit. By the way, bon appétit in Dutch is uh, eet smakelijk. Eet means eat and smakelijk means, I don't know, something like delicious. It's like a wish to say to someone like, enjoy your meal. So eet smakelijk. So do you remember in yesterday's video I said I really needed to buy like a little container for certain items on my desk. I found this little man and so at the moment I have some of my things inside of my Christmas man. It's like a cookie holder but since I don't keep cookies in my house I am going to use it as my container. It's super cute. So I'm editing over here and as you can see he really likes to throw himself right between me and my work so I can cuddle him. But that's okay. And then right there is a very, very jealous pistache. So I'm still editing, but it is noon, so I'm going to take a break. These are like all the different clips, like all the clips that I took yesterday, that I shot yesterday. And then I am right there with editing. As you can see, like I do edit quite heavily because I do make some language errors here and there. Yeah, well, a lot actually. <laughs> so I try to edit uh, as much out as I can. So that's why like if you look at all the different kinds of clips, they last like maybe a few seconds and then I have to edit again. So this is a lot and 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 a lot eh, of editing. But I have like 
put the cursor right here, I have about six minutes and 40 seconds worth of material, like worth of video right now. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm now going to take a break and after the break, I'm going to just do some more editing. And um, yeah, I am thinking like, oh my God, what do I have to show you? Because I'm editing a lot. Like, what do I show you? I can't show you all the editing. But um, yeah, we will figure something out. I still have a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot to do. But let's have a break and let's call Stefan. That's something that I do almost every day. And after that, I think I'm going to make some lunch and play a game, do some, like watch some YouTube. And after that, I'm going to continue. So that's it so far. So I'll talk to you later, Lemfem. Mucker, what did you just do? Ugh, always, every time when I leave bread out on the counter. This is what happens. Oh, yeah, it's happening. It's already snowing. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of it. It's so echt uh, van the grain, hè? So my parents drove by because every week they go to this store that's like very very close to my house and they have been bringing me this like packet, this packet of like food from the food bank. I think this will be the last month that I am going to need this extra food because I'm making some money off of YouTube now so that's very very exciting. In there were some pancakes so this is going to be my lunch, it's super hot, oh my god cat hairs, meh. Um, not the most healthy meal, it's about 490 calories for those four pancakes so this will be my lunch and um, yeah that's it I'm going to edit some more and I already put some of the things that had to be like in the fridge I did put them in the fridge already there also were some candy items in there so I have placed them right there and I'm going to message my sister if she wants to have them or maybe her husband and there are also still some other things that I am probably not going to eat like the syrup there the pancake syrup I'll have to figure that out later but first I'm going to continue editing hey Lam fam so it's 4 p.m. and I'm going to take a not a little break. Uh, I have been working on my video for quite some time now and I'm almost done. I still have like one hour of work I think so I'm going to take another little break and then I'm going to finish it and then I am like free for the rest of the evening. Of course I also will need to uh, cook for myself for dinner. Okay so that took way longer than I imagined. It has been 6 p.m. so I'm going to take a shower and Talita my sister invited me over to uh, have dinner with her and her husband. Yip yip! Hey, hey Lamfam, so I am back from the shower. I am dressed, well, not fully, I'm not wearing any pants. I'm just wearing some uh, underwear, but yeah, <laughs> TMI. I wanted to talk to you about something. This is something that I struggle with. So I had this whole box, the box of like the food bank. So in this big box, there were a few items that had to do with like the holiday that's coming up, Sinterklaas, which we celebrate uh, December 5th. And I wanted to talk to you about that today, but I have just been too busy. So I'm going to schedule that for tomorrow. So you will see that um, December 3rd, yes. Um, so in that box, there were quite some items that are items that I should not have in excess. There was this letter made out of chocolate. This is typically something that has to do with that holiday. Here's another one. So there were two of them. So the dark chocolate, I don't have any problems with that. I don't really like dark chocolate. I'm going over to my sister, so I'm going to take that with me and I'm going to give that to her and her husband. Then we have this one. And this one is a little bit harder because this is milk chocolate and chocolate is, together with ice cream, it's really my biggest, biggest trigger. But then there was also this bar of chocolate in there this massive bar of 200 grams and as you can see I've opened it and I struggled a little bit I ate three little blocks and then I also took some of the other chocolate that was in here I was planning on giving this to my sister and her husband and this is something that I struggle with because I have taken three pieces and I am okay with that I did not binge it's just like a snack I did not have like the biggest lunch I'm also not going to have probably the biggest dinner so it's okay with me to have a few extra calories. I'm still under the amount of calories that I should like eat for losing some weight so it's okay. I have thought about this in the shower while I was dressing and I was like no 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 I'm not going to do this because one chocolate leads to another chocolate and then you know what happens. So I was like I'm going to give the chocolate away too like the chocolate that's left because I already ate those three little cubes. But that's something that I do struggle with because like what's normal? I, I really have to find out what I think is normal for myself and I don't think there's 
like this line that fits all people. Like I was thinking like, okay, maybe I can have the chocolate. Like it's normal to have a chocolate every now and then, right? But then again, there was this voice that says, yes, that's normal, but you struggle with a binge eating disorder and you struggle with chocolate being your trigger food. So it's not a good idea to have that in your house. So that's the healthy side that wants to help me beat my binge eating disorder and doesn't want me to self-sabotage by having chocolate in the house. And then there's this other side that's like, yeah, well, but it's the last month of the year. Like, it's not that I'm trying to seek for an excuse to have that piece of chocolate, but it's really that I'm trying to think like, what would someone do that does not have a binge eating disorder? Like, I really want to find the right way. I don't want to exclude like entire food groups of my diet, but again, chocolate is a trigger food. I have decided that I'm going to give it away. In that same packet of food, there were also some chocolate covered bananas. They look like this and you might think, well, chocolate bananas, they are healthy. No, they're not. They're almost the same amount of calories per 100 grams uh, as chocolate. So no, I'm going to give these away too. And these are things that I struggle with. Like I ate three of those little blocks and most people probably wouldn't think about that anymore, but it sticks in my mind. I'm afraid like, okay, but if I'm going to give away the chocolate, maybe it's going to get into my mind and eventually it will form this massive thought that eventually will be the last drop of water that is going to make me find an excuse to have that binge. It's it's just very annoying to be really conscious about things like this. Uh, so I made my decision. I'm going to give it away. It's not very hard at this moment. Like I'm not really like, oh my god, I want that chocolate. Is this something that I want to work towards to or should I... No, oh, I'm I'm a god at this. It sounds like if I'm if I am trying, it sounds as if I'm trying to find excuses. It's really hard to explain. I want to go to this point where I can enjoy some food, also some chocolate, some some nice stuff, without turning it into a binge, without losing control eventually. I want to really overcome my eating problem, the the binging. I don't know. Maybe times like these are an eye-opener for me to see like you're not at that point yet you are not able to have that chocolate in your house yet so you have to give it away maybe it's an eye-opener or something i don't know but it it's it's at times like these are a little bit um weird like mentally <laughs> so yeah so um yeah that's what i'm going to do Yes, we're going to get rid of it. And then we're also going to make a huge, huge cup of sweetened tea with lots of artificial sugar to just, I don't know, like, <laughs> yeah. It's a little sad, but chocolate, no, I can't do chocolate. That's too dangerous. So yeah, I'm going over to my sister. I'm going to um, put on some pants and I'm going to eat there. But I will, of course, vlog. So see you there. Oh, that's so cute, all the fairy tale lights. Super cute. Maybe I'm going to do that too. Great idea. So this is what we're going to eat, some bami with some veggies, some chicken, and look how cute. It's a bison with some really great muscles. Ice cream! Hello YouTube, this is ice cream! It is low calorie ice cream. That's a Can I so Yeah. Good job. Oh. Do you want to go? Go we ended up playing some poker that night. I never ever have played poker before, so I had to adjust a little and I didn't win. No beginner's luck for me, unfortunately, but I had lots of fun. And then after poker, my sister and I, we played CTR Crash Team Racing. And this is something that we really, really enjoyed together. And we have this mode where we can fight each other. We just have to like kill each other or well, not really kill, but yeah, we have to just um, hit each other to get points for ourselves so that we can win. Lots and lots of fun and then I went home at 10 30 p.m. give or take. Hey Lamy, so I'm back home and the only thing that I'm going to do is to put my Christmas tree in its holder so that the branches can just like weigh down a little bit, you know, like that the tree can like find its form so that I can decorate it like tomorrow maybe or maybe the day after that. So that's what I'm going to do right now and then I'm going to bed. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. No sound I'll find valid in your eyes He'll always be my night sky
so this is what the tree looks like right now and I'm going to just let it chill so that the cats can get used to it and can climb it and as you can see like it's a really really big one. <laughs> oh my god. Makker is right over there he had lots and lots of fun he was outside for quite some time you're so cute, Mucker. Don't you want to explore the Christmas tree, cutie? So that was it for today's video. I am pretty exhausted. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow I will definitely have to clean up my kitchen because it's one big mess. Uh, but we'll do that tomorrow. There's a new day tomorrow. So this is it for today. I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, Lam Fam.